Hello and welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. This week we're outside the legislative seat of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the Crown Dependencies and the British Overseas Territories. And our topic is a legislative one, BSEN 12101. BSEN 12101 is a harmonised standard covering smoke ventilation products and in some cases they're designed within a system. Following the introduction of the Construction Products Regulation or CPR in 2013, all manufacturers of smoke ventilation systems are obliged to ensure their products comply with the applicable standard under BSEN 12101. The purpose of today's video is to talk you through each of the parts of this standard and what they apply to. I'll also be talking about a new part that is coming to the standard which will make for significant change. I'd like to caveat this video by saying these standards are living documents and by the time you see this video there's always the chance that things may have changed. Always make sure that you have the latest standards applicable to the work that you carry out. Disclaimer over, let's head on to the video. First up is BSEN 12101 Part 1. This part covers smoke curtains and natural barriers and specifies product characteristics and test or assessment methods and compliance criteria of the test results for smoke barriers. It goes into detail on both the barriers themselves and their associated activation and drive devices. Next is 12101 Part 2, the specification for natural smoke and heat ventilators. This is applicable to all vents and it's used in natural smoke ventilation systems, whether roof vents, shaft vents or facade vents. It's interesting to note that whilst some of these vents may be used in a mechanical smoke ventilation system, for the purposes of testing and certification, they still fall under the Dash 2 standard. Our next part is EN 12101 Part 3. This is the specification for powered smoke and heat control ventilators, or in normal terms, fans. Its scope covers everything from fan sets used in residential mechanical smoke extract systems through to car park impulse fans. The next two parts are actually technical reports and are considered inactive, but BSEN 12101 Part 4 is titled Installed Chev Systems for Smoke and Heat Ventilation Technical Reports, and EN 12101 Part 5 is titled Guidelines on Functional Recommendations and Calculation Methods for Smoke and Heat Exhaust Ventilation Systems. EN 12101 Part 6 is the specification for pressure differential systems as kits. This section covers in detail the use of pressure differentials to contain the products of combustion within the fire zone. We're expecting to see large changes coming to this document, including the reduction of the list of classes to a more condensed list, focusing on Class B for means of escape, firefighting, and Class C for simultaneous evacuation. At present, many consider there to be too many classes and those classes too rigid. EN 12101 Part 7 relates to smoke duct sections. These sections could be used in various parts of smoke ventilation systems. One example is the transition ductwork that connects the extract unit to the shaft. Sometimes the shaft itself is formed from this ductwork. This approach is used often in residential refurbishment projects. This standard gives clarity on the characteristics of the ductwork covering the elements such as integrity, its smoke leakage performance and its insulation. EN 12101 Part 8 is the part that covers smoke control dampers. The standard has gained widespread recognition recently due to high profile smoke control damper failures. EN 12101 Part 8, or Dash 8 as it's sometimes referred to, covers the functions and testing requirements of smoke control dampers. We've got a more in depth video on Dash 8 dampers linked up here. As we progress towards the double digit parts of EN 12101, we're going to start encountering PRs prefixing the name. And the next one is an example of this PREN 12101 Part 9. The PR stands for provisional, meaning the norm has not been adopted by EU member states. This also means it's unenforceable under the Construction Products Regulation 2013. PREM 12101 Part 9 is one such example where the EU member states haven't been able to come to an agreement as to the contents of the standard. As such, it is sitting dormant. However, we do have a self-certifying BS ISO standard 21927 Part 9, which is essentially a carbon copy of PREN 12101 Part 9. EN 12101 Part 10 relates to power supplies. It specifies requirements and gives test methods for primary and secondary electrical and pneumatic power supply requirement designed for use in smoke and heat control systems in buildings. The remaining standards are also not included in the main body of the 12101 standard as they are in draft or provisional form. These three include PREM 12101 Part 11 for horizontal flow power ventilation systems for enclosed car parks, PREM 12101 Part 12, Chev's design for using time dependent fires, and PREM 12101 Part 13. PREM 12101 Part 13 is an interesting document and when released will hopefully provide more clarity and standardisation around mechanical smoke extract systems. I know I'm a million miles over my two minutes but I hope this video has helped bring some clarity to all of those standards you hear us talking about when we're discussing smoke ventilation. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video or learnt something give it a like, if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and as always I'll see you next week, bye for now.